So the use of the characters by Disney and by others was a, a wonderful means to portray things on these airframes. B-17s, for example, there were more than 12,000 made, almost 17,000 B-24s, and then fighters had nose art on them as well. So we have an example here, Thumper, a cartoon character that was uh, put on the airplane, again, a different kind of airplane than what we talked about before, but nonetheless, the same kind of thing. This was the crew's identity for the airplane. It helped them um, live and uh, fly missions together. I mean, you can see the origins of this, where they were either in cartoons or maybe in movies. Someone from the crew or maybe one of the, either the ground crew or the air crew had seen the movie and thought, hey, this would be a cool symbol to have on the airplane. And I'm sure the crew went through a very similar process. They chose that cartoon character, either did it themselves, the artwork, or they had someone paint it for them. This one here has the Flying Tiger, which was symbolic of the unit called the Flying Tigers. The uh, circle insignia here was representative of Nationalist China. And then this shows the tiger with the uh, torn up uh, Japanese flag there. Of course, this was during World War II in the Pacific Theater. But that P-47 is a great example of an airplane that flew air-to-air -air missions, air-to-ground missions in both the European and Pacific Theater. So, Yes, it has the derivative of Dumbo on there. Another great example of nose art that we have here in the museum. We have the Command Decision nose art, which is really just behind me, and has Disney characters on it, but it's not just what you find on airplanes. It's also in patches that air crews wear uh, or might, uh, maintainers might wear. Disney artwork shows up on these patches and insignia. And during World War II, there was well over a thousand of these that Disney knows art appeared on, as well as thousands of airplanes. We either have leather jackets on display from air crew that have the artwork painted on the back of the jacket. Uh, we have two missions here. One is to tell the Air Force story to the public. The other is to inspire our young people. So we tell it as it was. We don't revise how it was done or change anything. We just portray it accurately. And so the young people can understand that as well because some of them will be airmen of the future.